What's growing on gardeners? On today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a grow light stand out of one single piece of PVC pipe so you can start seedlings indoors all year long. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon store and spread shop links in the video description for everything I use in my garden and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Starting seeds indoors is mandatory for most of us because we just don't have the good weather outside to start seeds all year round, especially during the winter time. Having a grow light setup indoors takes this terrible weather out of the equation. However, grow light setups are expensive, they take up a ton of room, and they can be difficult to store during the time of year when you're not using them. And this little invention that I came up with fixes all of those problems. So I drove to my local Lowe's hardware store and I went to the plumbing aisle. I purchased one stick of inch and a quarter by 10 foot long PVC pipe along with two inch and a quarter T fittings two inch and a quarter 90 degree elbows, and four inch and a quarter PVC end caps. This is everything I need to build my grow light stand. Pretty much every big box store carries these items. The next thing I did was mark my PVC pipe at four feet, six feet, eight feet, eight and a half feet, nine feet, nine and a half feet, and 10 feet. This will give me one four foot section of pipe, two two foot sections of pipe, and four six inch sections of pipe. Then we're going to take something like a fine hacksaw and we're going to cut our PVC pipe at all of the marked parts and we're going to place a tarp or a piece of cardboard or something underneath to catch all of the plastic shavings. So now we have all of the pieces of pipe cut. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a sander and we're going to run it around the edges and we're going to smooth everything out. Now that all the pipes have been cut and cleaned up, we're going to begin assembling. So we're going to take our four foot section of pipe and we're going to press on both 90 degree elbows. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to press in the two foot pieces of PVC pipe. Then we're going to press the T fittings into the bottoms of the two foot sticks. And that right here is going to be the basic form of the stand. And this is what we're going to hang the grow lights on. So what we effectively need to do now is we need to install the feet. So I'm going to press the six inch sections of pipe that we cut into the bottom T and then place the end caps on each of them. And we're going to twist everything in good and tight so nothing comes loose. Now you can glue this all together with PVC glue if you want to, but I'm not going to because these will lock in pretty tightly, more than tightly enough to hang most LED grow light fixtures, which are pretty light. But this way I'll be able to easily disassemble it for storage later in the year. That's what's going to make this design so fantastic. But keep in mind, if you're going to use heavier parts like uh, fluorescent shop lights and use a whole bunch of tubes that are going to be heavy, uh, you may want to glue this together with some type of PVC cement. Now that we have everything assembled, the last thing we're going to do is take a mallet and lightly tap everything together so it's nice and strong. Now normally you'd want to use a rubber mallet for this, but we have a ridiculous rainstorm outside and I'm not going out into my shed right now. So I'm going to use a wet paper towel and this hammer and just lightly tap things together. Do not use a metal mallet or a hammer directly on the PVC or you risk breaking it. And there is the grow light stand all set up on top of my seedling heating mat. Now this is a 48 inch by 20 inch seedling heat mat. It can start hundreds of seedlings all at once. And I'll take you in for a closer look. And you can see what kind of real estate we're talking about here. You can fit four to five seed trays on there, no problem. And I also have my heat mat thermostat that's all set up there so I can regulate the temperature because I'm starting uh, brassicas in there right now. So they don't want the heat mat on full blast. They like to germinate in cooler soil temperatures in the 70s and then I have my tomato seedlings here they like temperatures that are a little bit warmer so I kind of found a happy medium at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit now that I have the stand all set up I'm going to set up the grow lights that I just purchased 
All right, my brand new grow lights just showed up for this stand I built, and this is super lightweight, which is exactly what I wanted. That's why I went with the LED option plus the power savings that you get with it. And this was a complete kit that came with the LED tubes as well as these little cables for raising and lowering all of the power cables. I will make sure to link to this exact one in, the, in my uh, video description uh, in case you are interested in it. Well, like most of these inexpensive made in China kits, the instructions are absolutely worthless. You just kind of have to figure it out. And these reflectors, they more or less slide right into this groove right here. And then uh, you can see the LED tubing right here. We'll turn it on to make sure everything works. Whoa, oh, whoa, that is insanely bright. I should not have looked at that. Uh, these LEDs, crazy bright, let me tell you. And it, ah. Uh, it looks like they all work, so that is a good thing. So despite the total lack of instructions, this kit is actually pretty nice. You just simply clip these two little clips on right here, and then they have these wire mounts uh, that are basically shrinkable. You can adjust them to any size you want. So now we just have to go ahead and mount this. So we're going to set our lights down here, and then we're going to put this wire rope over the pipe that we just built and feed it through and then pull it. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. All right, and now we will simply raise the lights. Now things are mostly in place. Now I just want to put my seedlings under here. So now we have all of our seedlings in place. So we are going to simply lower the grow lights because the grow lights need to be mere inches away from the individual seedlings. I know the light appears to be very intense, but it is actually nothing like the sun. It is very weak by comparison. So it's important that when you set up your grow lights, you put them only a few inches uh, above each of the individual plants and then you uh, raise them as necessary. All right, now the grow lights are basically about where I want them to be. So now we're going to turn them on and look at that, amazing. And there are all of my brassicas underneath intense light. Now I know they look a little bit leggy, but they will fix themselves and I just purchased an oscillating fan. The oscillating fan will give it a little bit of intermittent wind, which will force them to all thicken up. Then next to it I have some really early tomato seedlings that were leggy, but they're starting to thicken up as we speak. When we get really nice warm weather days, I will carry these outside into the intense sunlight, but it's been pretty cold here lately, so I think they'll be spending a good amount of time underneath these grow lights now. One of the cool things about this grow light right here is that you can daisy chain several of them in series. They give you a few extra plugs that you can actually plug into the opposite end of the light and you can attach more. I think the instruction said you could fit another four in series or something like that together. This is the double LED. LED tube, so it's a 60 watt equivalent. I think they said you can connect four of them together in total. Now, this uh, stand that I built obviously only holds one of the individual uh, tubes, but there's no reason why you couldn't extend the base here and put two of these T fittings. That way, you could have two different pipes come up, maybe one here and one here, and then you could basically make it into a double grow light stand if you wanted to buy two pieces of pipe instead of one. But overall, I'm really thrilled with the way this came out, and it looks really great overall, I have to say. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please ring that notification bell so you're notified when I release more videos like these. Again, everything that I use that can be linked down in the bottom of the video description, I will place direct links for all the parts that you can order online that I used in this video. As for the PVC pipe itself, again, I got it at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot or pretty much any other big box hardware store, or you can go to an electrical supply house and get electrical conduit. So check out the video description for all the links. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see all of you again on the next one. Deal. Look at your cute little Christmas socks. They'll make your paws nice and warm. You look so adorable in them. 
Let's see if you can walk around in them. Dale's never been in socks before. Come on, buddy, come. Come, come on, up. <laughs> no, come on. Come on, let's get up and walk around. Come on, up. Look at you. <laughs> Look at Dale. What do you think of your new toasty warm socks? It's so cold this morning. <laughs> that does not look like a happy boy right there. That looks like a confused boy, but he'll get used to it. Look, Dale, we have the exact same socks. We match. <laughs>